Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for a new part in this tutorial series and today we're going to finish everything up and we're going to make sure that everything will work properly. Uh, we start with making sure that we will fix that at first um, when you were switching to items they were from the same um, kind or the same ID or whatever you want to call it they would just switch but we don't want that we want them to stock up because well why not. So before we're going to start with that, we need to add here an item inventory, double I, um, and just copy and paste this part there because we're going to use this part a lot and otherwise it will be really annoying. So we're just going to say this and everything will work exactly like it used to be, but we're going to change some things. So there are two situations. It is the same item or it isn't. If it's the same item, everything will just be like it was. So we can just say if current item uh, to the item you're currently switching uh, isn't the same as the item you are just hitting or just selecting or whatever you want to call it um, isn't the same those two lines will just work so we'll, they will just switch but if it isn't we need to add some calculations because it's a little bit harder because we got a maximum value of 64 for example um, and we don't want them to be higher, higher than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an if statement and an else statement. And in the if statement is if it is just well less than 64, it's going to be very easy. We can just add it. So we can just already do that. So this plus this if it is less or equal to 64, because also that can happen. Um, the um, button you just clicked and from that we're just going to add there the current item dot count. So that's not very hard, it's just very simple. Here we need to have uh, almost the same except that we are just going to also add by the uh, previous uh, slot we're just going to add everything that is left. So for example or for example, it's 64. We are just going to say that double i dot count is 64. So that is clear because we know it's more than 64. 64 is the maximum that can be in one slot. So we can just add it right here. Um, here we just need to have add item, and we just need to add everything from the previous object just to the last slot you clicked. So what we're going to do is current id. So that's the uh, right slot data dot items double i dot id and because it's the same we really doesn't mind that we just use double i currently um, the count of course is double i dot count minus the current item dot count um, Um, I'm very sorry, that's plus the current item and minus 64. And here is the health. So this is just everything that's left. Now going towards the picking up. And it's probably what a lot of people are really going to like. So what we're going to do here, last time we did this search for items. And it was kind of like the preparation of what we're going to do right now. Um, we need two things, two new variables, a p private uh, request hit, hit, and a private layer mask, culling mask. So we've got two different variables and we're going to use them for a physics uh, the ray guest. But what we're going to do first is we will only want that to happen when you're um, pressing a certain key. So if input dot get key down get key whoops a uh, key code double uh, e I mean um, and on if physics dot raycast is going to hit something and of course we're going to start there start that with chem the transform the position because that's like the center of the 
uh, of your screen and we're going to do it of course forward and it's going to have uh, an output hit so we can just see uh, all the variables we need or all the the thing that we hit with a length of three and of course we only want it to hit the culling mask so for example if this in water and you still want to have uh, with water um, a certain collider but you want still want to pick something up which is well in the water you don't need to touch it here we've got the if hit dot transform dot tag is the same as item and this is very important that you write it with a capital otherwise it won't work and what we're actually just doing here is we only want to uh because you're hitting something that's we know that for sure if the, otherwise it's if satan wouldn't work but now we are asking ourselves is the right item and it will only be if the tag of the item is item so what we're going to do here is search for uh, same item and we need a few variables and all of them are actually um, something we need to know from the hit from the object we just uh, try to pick up so what we're going to do is actually just create a new script a new c sharp script and call it item self so this is the item uh, itself and just open it up uh, yes we want to save it and uh, we're just going to remove this all and we're just going to add three variables a public int id whoops a public int uh, count and a public float health so those three variables are actually the variables that will make the difference between different items um, so what we're going to do here is we know that hit the transform does get component item self will well we are going to with that we're going to have access towards all those variables so we're just going to create a new variable variable item self um, which we just call um, new item and we're just going to put it right here so new item from there we can access all the variables so the first first thing is the item so data dot items is the same as new item dot id so now we've got the right item we need the right count and that's something that's very simple new item dot count the health new item dot health if you have more variables you can just all add them already also there the last thing we want to do is destroy the game object because well we don't uh, need it anymore so hit dot transform dot game object and what we're now going to do is actually just um, building the whole scene so we will start with going towards our standard assets you can import them by assets and then input package and uh, import the characters and the prototyping and if you go towards prototyping prototyping and towards prefabs you can just add a floor and it's just something so we can walk on so it's just for creating an example and we want a cube here and we're just going to give it a new uh, another uh, material so we can just easily see it um, and also what we're going to do is change the tag to item and you can just add tag and then just hit this plus and just change the name to item um, and we're just going to assign it and we're just going to add item self the id is one count is five and the health is 100 um, the next thing we are going to do is creating the actual player so we're going towards characters first person prefabs and then first person controller and we're just going to zero everything out except this one we're going to put here one and then we're going to change a few things 
at first we're going to assign or uh, put this as a child and change the depth to one and clear flex to depth only so it will render um, above the um, the other camera also you need to disable background and assign it within your inventory and also what we're going to do is i think i made here a little bit of a mistake we need to set this public i'm very sorry and if we just wait for a minute it will just load in and we're going to say everything and then we're going to change it that we don't want to hit ue and player and whatever layer you want all right guys um i'm very sorry for the weird cut but the thing we need to do is add this line here um i see that we can just make it a little bit more easy um so we need to um update the text that is standing right there so here um we are just saying that um we already did it once that from the item game object we get from the children the text and we say it's the same as the count to string also um what we forgot or what they forgot to change is that we had here by the add we had here at first 100 um because this whole system works with 64 we need to change this also to 64 and it will work then there um is a few other changes within the scene itself we need to change this layer to player and it's off only from this object we need to change the mine camera the position to 000, zero zero that's also something i did wrong and then now everything should be working so we come to inventory and we see here the axes and we can just add them and you see that fir first x has five and we know that um that x there also had five so when we add it to our inventory and we see we see here it is 10 so everything works so that is it i'm very glad it finally worked and i see you guys with another series or not let's hope and if you've got any questions please ask below in the comment section and i will try to answer them and see you guys next week bye